Achromatopsia, New Options in Contact Lenses. Narrated by Dr. Laura Windsor. Produced by the Achromatopsia Clinic, a division of the Low Vision Centers of Indiana. Achromatopsia patients live in a world of overwhelming light, devoid or with only traces of color, reduced sharpness of vision, and with nystagmus movements of their eyes. The light aversion, called hemorrhopia, or day blindness, is by far the biggest problem. Those of us without achromatopsia would see this small scene as moderately bright with full color. To a person with achromatopsia, the light is overwhelming, dramatically reduces vision, and with little or no color present. To control the light, the achromat is forced to squint, which further reduces the side vision. Dark glasses, often red in color, have been used inside and out to help control glare. However, the constant squinting and the need to constantly wear very dark eyewear inside and out combined with the decreased visual acuity, create many social and emotional issues. It is particularly difficult for adolescents where social acceptance is crucial. Today, we can offer most acromats the options of new, personally customized types of filters and contact lenses to help their lighter version. New forms of filtered contact lenses can provide dramatic control of the day blindness. Filtered contact lenses eliminate the need to wear dark filters inside. This young lady from New Zealand shows both the cosmetic improvement and the decreased aversion to light that lets her open her eyes in bright lighting. Filtered contact lenses reduce the chronic squinting. These contact lenses can first be fit beginning around age 8 to 10. Here is an 8-year-old from Norway. We see that with filtered contacts she can open her eyes in normal lighting. And here is the reduction in day blindness and the opening of the eyes of a 64-year-old patient. He's wearing magenta lenses. The early contacts were hard plastic lenses that were often difficult to wear with limited colors available, primarily red. Today we use soft contact lenses for achromatopsia. Soft contact lenses can be created in a variety of colors and densities, allowing many more options. We now have the ability to customize the color and density to the specific vision of each patient with achromatopsia. Traditional red filters are highly effective protectors of rod cell function in the retina. But pure red filters and contact lenses are not always dark enough for achromats with severe day blindness. Thus, it is a mistake to fit only red contacts. At the Achromatopsia Clinic at the Low Vision Centers of Indiana, we see patients with achromatopsia from throughout the world. At our clinic, the traditional pure red contact accounts for less than 25% of our contact lens fits. The cosmetics of red contact lenses can vary depending on how deep the eyes are set and on the amount of light exposure. Here is the same patient we see with the contacts in very bright light and in moderate lighting. Traditional red contact lenses may not be dark enough for many achromats. Combining red and neutral black dyes may darken the red filter to better control light and to improve the cosmetic appearance while maintaining much of the efficiency of the red filters. Other colors may provide a more natural and cosmetic appearance. Here we see a B60 contact lens on the left and a dark magenta lens on the right. Both provide excellent cosmetics. Magenta is made from a combination of red and blue dyes. The red portion of the filter helps protect rod cell function, while the blue allows some blue light to pass to the eye. In blue cone monochromatism, and in some incomplete rod monochromats, those that see some color, the red filter may actually block some colors the patient normally detects. These patients may benefit from magenta or brown filters. Filtered contact lenses for achromatopsia are not just an eye-opening experience. It is a life-changing event.